In schools now, we see students using resources like fidget spinners or a chill room to keep focus. This room at Jack Kemp School is a space where students can do so. We all learn ways to self-regulate as people, as individuals, and as adults we do things like drink our coffee or, or fiddle with our earring like I might do, but kids need to learn um, more appropriate ways to self-regulate instead of um, do, doing things that might be more unexpected, um, so such as like uh, ripping paper or, or uh, fiddling with things they shouldn't be. We teach them ways to regulate appropriately um, and that they can carry into their um, teen years and adulthood. Before starting activities in the room, kids mark out on a board how they are feeling that day and then start their routine. I have schedules to go to the chill room if the teacher sees me doing work very good. She, she won't send me to the chill room, but she will if I'm like kind of like not doing my work because it chills me down from all like the frustration. LPSC has been introducing these programs in schools for just over a decade, and during that time it has been expanding to what it is now and more. Over time we've seen it evolve into um, developing, so that's part of my role is developing spaces and new innovative ways to incorporate strategies that help kids and support learning. So you're going to see different things in classrooms nowadays, like different kinds of seating, different kinds of corners and spaces with tents. and. The COVID-19 pandemic has created some difficulties on how the room can be used. We can sanitize in between and a lot of um, the focus is on that and personal space and being able to move within our um, physically distancing environment. <laughs> Students and staff sanitize before and after they are in the chill room. You have goals and Lakeland College can help you achieve them. Visit lakelandcollege.ca or email hello at lakelandcollege.ca.